Hello, my name is Danielle. Welcome back to my channel if you're new. Hi, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video. Today I'm going to be talking about how I turn loose pigment eyeshadows into eyeliner. Um, what I did it was pick out some different loose pigments in my collection just to kind of try them all and show you what I do. So I have some from Spectrum Cosmetics, the Checkered Lily, as well as Moonrise Cosmetics. And I just picked three completely different shades here. So I have a purple, I have a blue, and I have this light orange. And what I used to do it is I used the Medusa's Makeup Eyeliner Seal. A lot of different brands have a eyeliner seal. Um, you can use anything. You can even use water. Um, you just need to be able to just do fine droplets of it. You don't want to like oversaturate the pigments. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Checkered Lily Apothecary's Marina eyeshadow, which looks like this, and I am going to dip a little bit of it. I'm not going to make huge quantities of this because I just want to show. So I have some in there. The next thing I'm going to do is take the Medusa's Makeup Eyeliner Seal. And I'm just going to do two droplets of it. So it's in there and then I take a brush and we're going to start mixing this in. It does take a little bit of mixing. So if you don't have, to, this is not like an everyday do my makeup like this every day or make my own eyeliner every day. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know that. But on days where I just want to do something kind of fun, something different, and I just use the lids and some fancy. So this one's mixed. You do want to kind of check on your hand before you go and put it on your eye. I will recommend that. That's what that one looks like. If I wanted it to be a little more opaque, I could take some more of the pigment, take a little more here, and just mix that in. So it is kind of something that you do have to play around with in the beginning, especially if you want it more opaque. And that one's more of a shimmer shade, so it would be a kind of shimmery eyeliner. It also kind of gives it a foil effect because you can do this and put it all over your lid. Um, just know that the eyeliner itself is not going to be the longest lasting. It's not meant to be. It's eyeshadow. Um, the next one we'll take here is from Moonrise Cosmetics, and this is Goldie. And I just put some in there. We'll go ahead and do our one, two. And I just wiped this brush off, so I'll take it. We'll mix it in. And sometimes they'll come out shades you weren't even expecting. So it's kind of fun to play around with and just see what you're going to get. Might have had a little bit of the blue. And you can also mix some of the colors together. I've done that too, where I've mixed two different shades. Yeah, this one had some of the blue. And this one's not coming out as bright. So it has some of the blue on it, but it's more like reflective. So it's just kind of fun to play around and see what you can get out of the um, eyeshadows. But I do kind of, I recommend playing around with it and you will want to wipe out the um, lids after. You don't want any of the wet eyeshadow going back in when you put the lid back on. Because you don't want to create mold or anything like that in your eyeshadows. So just be warned. You can also use like a palette, like one of those little makeup palettes to kind of mix it. I just use the lids. I've never had a problem. This is the one I'm excited to kind of play with. This is Lenore. Um, it is a beautiful purple. So we're just going to go in one. Take that brush I just cleaned and mixy, mixy, mix. So literally I am just in there mixing. And as you've seen, some eyeshadows work out really well, some don't. Um, you can also use pressed pigment, but you do have to get a piece of that pressed pigment off and kind of crush it to kind of blend it in. Um, loose pigment are much easier to use. 
and I'll need a little bit more. And that is what Lenore looks like. It's very shiny and metallic. But again, if you're not looking for the eyeliner, you can do this and put it all over your lid. It does give it a very cool effect. I just wanted to show you guys because in some of my videos, I'm wearing things that I've turned into eyeliner or I've used this to kind of put all over my lid and I don't really talk about it that often. But if you guys have tried other eyeliner stills, let me know which ones you've tried. I like this one. I also use water from time to time. Water works just as well. But you do have to remember that these are eyeshadows you're turning into a liner and that they are not as long wearing as a typical eyeliner. Thank you guys so much for watching and I do hope that you have a great day. Anything I talked about, I will link down below. Thank you again and bye!